wish to say this uh, through this media and with that um, we are going to elect our leaders. Um, majority of the people of Baringo, majority of them, majority of the people of Baringo, over 90 percent, um, belong to the formation of politics in this country of uh, Kenya Kwanzaa. To be specific, they are UDA uh, affiliated party. And therefore, out of 30 elective areas, UDA might control over 20 of those, which is about 75%. Um, about three or so might staggeringly be a contested uh, area. So that means majority parliament or uh, county uh, assembly will be controlled by UDA. Or by extension Kenya Kwanzaa because some of the candidates might come from some of the Kenya Kwanzaa affiliate parties. Um, for you to run a county like Baringo, you must have a governor who will work in symbiotic relations with the county assembly for that particular governor to be able to execute his vision. Because the oversight, which is now the parliament, can either choke the administrative opportunity of a governor. So I, I, I would, as an elder, uh, advise the electorate that don't, don't elect controversy into the county assembly. Don't in elect an opportunity of dispute and um, lost opportunities because of court cases, impeachment. Like for example, I, I, I listened to one of the candidates uh, of, of the governors in, in uh, governor candidates in Baringo as they gave their, their, their views. I got concerned about one area. Um, where you come to gubernatorial seat with a controversial policy that will bring you into coalition with the county assembly. Now, really, as, a, as an electorate, how can you elect conflict there? Because if you are coming in and say, I'm going to deny, I'm going to curtail, some allowances which is allowed in law to the members of county assembly that they are allowed to travel and given by law and it is within the budget the national budget given by the national treasury and it is allocated by commission of revenue authority and given to them by law when you come and possibly you may not have the num to marshal the number of MCAs that will support your concept uh, because you are not within the main and majority one, then you will be there alone. And most of the, and I'm sure all the parties will unite, we, when we, we, even those in opposition will unite in this one because it's a constitutional provision. Uh, think of men for one, you know, for BBI, for example, to be passed by county assemblies, the president had to make, had to appease. The MCS, by giving them a grant for cars. You, re you remember that? They um, twisted the head of state. You as a governor, who are you? They will go for you. They will impeach you. If they don't succeed because you might go to court and suspend their impeachment, they will frustrate your budget. So for five years, you will not serve us. You will not even serve yourself and you cannot even share your vision. So I'm advising the electorate to choose between confusion for the next five years or choose candidates or a candidate that is going to, although we will have problems, that means, I mean, we are not taking the oversight role of, uh, of parliament or, or county assembly from oversighting the executive and, and, and really even even a member of UDA can be impeached if you mess up with a kind. But it is easy to manage it 
when you are working together along to the same direction. So it is on this that in my view, Baringo, for example, should, should choose unity, should choose harmony, should choose one that will bring people together. We are a cosmopolitan county and we need to work together. So as we go to election on the um, 9th of August, I am making an appeal to my brothers and sisters in Baringo. Choose harmony in terms of leadership. Choose innovation in terms of leadership. Choose um, security in terms of leaders who are focused in bringing that item to the table and be a part of the conversation. And be bold. Don't fear. Just choose. Choose a government that makes sense. In Baringo County, don't choose a government that does not make sense. I repeat. In Baringo, choose a government, a county government that makes sense. Makes sense in that its argument and leadership will benefit the people of Baringo. Instead of choosing controversy. This is what I mean. That don't build your house on a foundation that tilts, that is tilted. By the time you are atop there, it will fall.